So I recently got this mouse from AliExpress with two extra buttons and today I'm going to be showing you how I was able to customize the buttons to carry out different tasks. So yeah, let's begin. To customize the buttons on the mouse, you need to download this software called X Mouse Button Control. This is for Windows computers, not for Macs. So fortunately, I don't know anything about Macs because I don't use one. Anyways, I'll leave a link to this software in the description. And uh, when you download it, just install it to your laptop. When you come here, it's going to default to layer one and you can start pressing the buttons on the mouse to detect them over here. So if I click on the first button on the side, you can see that it is mouse button five over here. If I click on the bottom one, you'll see that it is mouse button four. If I click on the left button, that is the normal left button. It's going to show up here. If I right click to show up here. If I click on the middle button, it's going to show up here. And if I scroll down or scroll up, you see that it is showing up. So this is just to let you know that the software has detected the mouse. All right, so now I'm going to start with the bottom button on the side and as I'm tapping on it, you can see it is highlighting over here. So if I click here, I can decide what I want the button to do. So for this tutorial, I'm going to specify that whenever I press on this button, then any file that is selected should be permanently deleted. So I'll click on simulate keys. So for Windows, if you want to permanently delete files, you need to press shift and delete. So that's what I'm going to do here. I'll click this and then I'll click modifier keys. You can go through the list for other keys, but shift is under modifier keys. So I'll, I'll click here, and then I'll click on this again. Then I'll go for standard keys and this is delete. So I'll click it. Now, I think I'll delete this one. Now we have shift and delete. I'll click OK. So I'll click apply. And now to test this, what I'll do is I'll duplicate this file. And after duplicating it, I'll just click this. As you can see, it is asking me if I want to permanently delete it. So I'll click yes. So that's how you customize the buttons on your mouse. Like I said, the link to the software will be in the description. And if you have questions, you can leave them in the comments. All right, I'll be seeing you in the next video.